Hey, my name is Andrew Gutterson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to beatbox. I'm teaching you some very basic beats. The first beat will be a bass beat, which sounds like this. I'll be teaching you inward and outward snares, which sound like this. I'll be teaching you different bass beats, such as the throat bass. I'll be teaching you the techno bass beat. I'm going to be teaching you different scratches, which is the chewy scratch, which sounds like this. And the vocal scratch, which you heard earlier, but sounds like this. I'm going to be teaching you how to do the hi-hat, which sounds, well, the closed hi-hat and the open hi-hat. So the closed hi-hat sounds like this. And the open hi-hat sounds like this. And at the end of my series, I'm going to be showing you how, to, uh, how they all come together to make a beat. What are you going to need is you're going to need your mouth, you're going to need a glass of water, and your own creativity. A little bit about me. I have been beatboxing for about five years. I beatboxed with my acapella group at my college, and I've also beatboxed with the well-known beatboxer, the godfather of noise, Razel. So now let's get started with me teaching you how to beatbox. Hey, what's up? My name is Andrew Gutterson. I'm from Beatbox Entertainment. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to beatbox. The first noise I'm going to teach you guys how to do is the bass drum. What it sounds like is this. What you're going to do is you're going to start with the word boom. Now, what, a bass, what the bass drum sound is, is you take the boom and then you shorten it. And then you start, you start making it louder and louder and louder. And what you'll come out with is a bass drum, which will sound like now, when you start, it's not going to sound as bassy or as loud as mine, but after practice and after a lot of times of repetition, you'll get it down to where mine is. So again, you start with the word boom. So the word boom, you shorten it, and then you get to the bass sound, and you do it louder and louder, and then you get boom. So an uh, uh, example of this would be saying boom, boom. That was the basic bass beat, and now I'm going to teach you guys how to do the throat beat. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Andrew Gutterson. I'm from Beatbox Entertainment. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to beatbox. Right now, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the throat bass. Now, if you remember in the last clip, I taught you guys how to do the bass beat, which goes like this. <clears throat> now, what you're going to do is you're going to do the bass beat combined with a growling noise in your throat, which will sound like <clears throat> All right, so how to do that? What you're going to do is you're going to growl, I guess, and then you're going to transfer, you're going to push it down to your throat so it'll come out over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, and then you're going to put it into your throat. Or it's also like a really, really deep hum is another way to do it. So let's try that. So bass beat, and then the throat bass with the first a hum. And then you go with the bass beat. And you can do it at different volumes too. So that was the throat bass. Now we're gonna do the inward snare. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Andrew Gutterson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to beatbox. Right now I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the inward snare. Now, at first, when you start doing this noise, you're gonna look really silly and it's gonna sound really silly. But trust me, it pays off in the end. So in order to do this noise, you start off by, ha by keeping your teeth about a centimeter apart, give or take. And then you have your lips together. So you look something like this when you start off. So like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to suck in air to the right or left side of your mouth. And then it will make a sound. Now at first it may sound like <laughs> or something like that. What you're going to try and strive for or trying to get is a sound like this. You're going to need to keep your lips somewhat moist so it goes through correctly, but it'll sound like <coughs> and that'll sound like a snare. Now there are two ways to do snare, and in a few minutes I'll be teaching you the outward snare, but right now the inward snare goes like <coughs> So again, you keep your teeth about a centimeter apart, you use your lips and you put them together, and then you suck inward to your right or your left hand, left hand of your mouth, and then this noise should sound like 
Next, we'll be going on to the outward snare, which is a little bit easier than the inward. So keep on practicing the inward, and when you go on to the next clip, you'll learn the outward snare. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Andrew Gutterson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to beatbox. I previously taught you guys how to do the inward snare. Now, I'm teaching you guys how to do the outward snare. The outward snare sounds like this. In order to do this, what you have to do is first take your bottom lip and put it inside your mouth slightly, like this, so your teeth aren't showing. Then you take your top set of teeth and you put it on your, on your bottom lip. Then you take your top lip and you place it over your top set of teeth. So you look something like this. It looks very silly at first, but the sound that comes out is pretty awesome. So don't worry about the silliness. So here you go. So again, bottom lip over, then teeth, then lip. And then what you do is you push air out of your mouth to make a snare sound. And you have to push it out really fast, because if you do it slowly, it'll just sound like a farting noise, and that just won't sound good. And if you do it correctly, it'll sound something like this. <laughs> That's the outward snare. Next, we're teaching you guys how to do the hi-hat and the open hi-hat. Hey, what's up? My name is Andrew Gutterson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to beatbox. What we're we'll teaching you right now is the hi hat and the open hi hat. The hi hat sounds like this. Just a very simple sound. And then the open hi hat sounds like this, which is basically the hi hat but elongated. So, what are you going to do is you're, with, you're going to start off with the word tisk. Then, you're going to take the word tisk and you're going to shorten it. So, you have a sound that sounds like tss. Now, in order to get the closed hi hat, you shorten it even further. And you get it really, really small until you get something like this. That's your closed hi hat. Then your open hi hat sounds like this, which is basically taking the tisk sound or the tis and elongating it. So it sounds like something, an open hi hat. So again, the shortened version, which is the closed hi hat, which sounds like this. And the open hi hat sounds like this. After a while of practicing, it will sound really good. And then you go to something like this, which will sound like So go on and practice that. And next I'll be teaching you guys the Chewy Scratch. Hey, what's up? My name is Andrew Gutterson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today I'll be teaching you how to beatbox. What I'm teaching you right now is the Chewy Scratch. Now this one takes a long time to master, it takes a long time to learn. I'll tell you it took me about a year to learn how to do this correctly. But I'm gonna try my best to teach you the way I learned it. So what you do is you start with the word chewy, as in something's very chewy, your steak isn't cooked correctly, and it's a chewy steak. So you say the word chewy, and then you can use the word chewy in different ways. So starting off, it sounds like chewy. So. When doing the chewy scratch, what you're going to do is you're going to place your tongue on the roof of your mouth and the tip of your tongue towards your teeth so that when you push out air, it creates a whistling noise or like a sound. So then what you're going to do is you're going to push it out harder and faster. So it'll sound something like this. Then after a while, after you've practiced and practiced and practiced, it'll sound something like this. Now, if you're wondering how I got the fast chewy scratch, it's saying chickity chew. So what you do is you go from chewy to chickity chew, but you say it very fast. So like this, so chew, chickity chew. Chickity chew. Then you got your chewy scratch. Next, I'll be teaching you the vocal scratch. Hey, what's up? My name is Andrew Gutterson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to beatbox. The sounds I'll be teaching you right now is the vocal scratch. What it is, it sounds like this. That's the vocal scratch. In order to do that noise, what you do is you say the word error. Error. Now, what you do is you put it in a falsetto voice. And then you squeeze your vocal cords, you squeeze your voice box. So that creates a, a tighter sound. 
So, oh, 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 oh. And then what you do in order to get a faster scratch is you take it and you do it faster. And you can do it however, whichever way you want. So you can start with error. So error, And you can put in different words, different voices. You can do like hello. You can also slow it down too. You can do and that is done by taking your voice and just making it lower, which will give it a slowing effect. So again, the error scratch or the vocal scratch goes like this, and then you can slow it down by making your voice lower while doing it. And that's the vocal scratch. Hey, what's up? My name is Andrew Gardeson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today I'm teaching you how to beatbox. Right now I'm going to teach you how to do the inward kick drum. The inward kick drum sounds like this. As you can see, it makes a kicking sound or a k sound. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the air and you're going to suck it into the right hand side of your mouth. So it goes toward your cheek and then back down into your throat. So when you take it in, you're also going to bite down your tongue slightly. Not very hard, but just a little bit. So in order to do the sound, you take your air in, and then you just do it faster. Now I'm going to teach you how to do a basic techno beat. Hey, my name is Andrew Gutterson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today I'm going to teach you how to beatbox. Right now I'm going to teach you how to do a basic techno beat. It consists of two noises. The first noise, which I've already taught you, could, be, could either be a closed hi-hat or an open hi-hat. Closed hi-hat again sounds like this. An open hi-hat sounds like this. So the second, the second beat or the second noise I'm going to teach you is the techno bass drum. The techno bass drum sounds more or less like a gorilla grunting, which sounds like this. <laughs> so for those of you that can make a gorilla noise, do that. Or phonetically, it'll sound like this. Ugh or uh. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep your mouth closed while doing the uh sound, and you're just going to do the noise. So. <laughs> Now, when you do it correctly, after a while, the hi-hat will end up following the noise, the techno bass drum. So it sounds something like this. <laughs> now, after a while of doing that over and over again, you create your own techno beats, which sound like this. <laughs> and that's your basic techno beat. Next, I'm going to teach you guys how to, do, how to combine all the sounds I've taught you so far into a beat. Hey, my name is Andrew Gutterson from Beatbox Entertainment. Today I'm going to teach you how to beatbox. So far I've taught you a group of different noises, starting with bass drums such as this, or the throat bass, or the techno bass drum, which is or then you have the closed hi-hat, you have the open hi-hat, you have the inward snare, you have the outward snare, you have the kick drum. And you have the chewy scratch, you have the vocal scratch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do a beat, or I'm going to do a beat combining all of the different noises that you can do to teach you what you can do later on when you become very acquainted with these noises and these sounds. So here I go. As you can see, certain noises go together really well. You can take a bass beat and a kick drum, you can take a hi-hat and a scratching, you can take a bunch of different stuff and put them together. It's your choice on how you want to do it, but from what I've noticed, I really like the way the kick drums go together or the snares go together. And just, you know, take your time and figure out what you like to do and what's comfortable for you. Every single beatboxer has their own way of doing things. Every single beatboxer sounds differently. So not everyone's going to sound the same. Not every beat is going to sound the same. It's up to you and your own creativity. So 
go practice and enjoy. To watch the other segments in this video series or for how-to videos on almost any other topic, visit monkeysee.com.